as well. Yeah, a fed Kha'Zix is often a reflection on the rest of the team because he's so good at cleanup. Visible once again, stays with the fight, actually gets some good damage if he can get some. No, he cannot. It's a gold advantage. There's the ulti out, Lost Boy looking for a hook. Finds Aiko, but the dragon's already dead. Fight's gonna break out, Santora jumps in. Might be a little too soon though, is it? Not gonna ravage through the back, the first kill has happened. Bjergsen around the flank trying to get a Dyrus. A double there, it's absolute chaos. The Dyrus has done it, you die! You drop from Lost Boy! A triple out for Dyrus! A TSM! Clean up, LG! again is off on his own controlling more than there are two people right now not more than <laughs> <laughs> but now look at this look oh! at the fight smithy's gonna carry on getting down to this tower gonna try to use that siphoning strike to put some damage down they actually exhaust dyrus up they managed to get in with a death sentence bloodwater is not taking turret aggro yet smithy forced to flash away first play gets given to dyrus oh, he's gonna flash away the double kill. Ticking. that's a double kill for dyrus and he survives Link is trying oh, to run man. down Dyrus. This is going to be scary. Oh, the damage! He gets it! That is a scary crocodile. Link is out. There's the arrow. To the right. Bjergsen has to move it across. He's going to get one shockwave onto Haunter there. The rest of the gravity team flashes through, but they're all slivers of health. Dyrus. Instantly in the beginning of the fight. Double it. Triple kill for Dyrus. Looking for the Penta. That's going to be a kill for Turtle. It could still be the Quadra. That's a dropping spider. Oh, oh, oh. Never going up the spout again. Quadra coming in for Dyrus. It's just a Dyrus comp. Yeah. <laughs> you kill everyone. Just Dyrus things. Regular lead that he would usually have. Ackerman not finding a good engagement here. The room prison goes down. He's going to break it with that crowd control reduction. And big bang boom. The Dyrus comes up big on one. The top laner, and that's something you never see. Dyrus may be in trouble. Dyrus is in a 4v1 right now. Let's see how long he lasts on this. He actually dives into the fight, and he is causing them to want to back off. Adwa wow. just on the backside. He's only down to about 20% HP after they had all had the chance to use that's more than four. one spell reel. 2v4. Dyrus just goes complete man mode, 1v4 in that situation. They're gonna dive him! They're absolutely gonna dive him. He's got the rage ready, the double damage, the stun as well to come out. And they lock it down. So West Rice now, again, under his turret. Amazing's on the other side of the map, but Dyrus goes in for the fight, pops the ulti. Does he have the damage he needs? West Rice just forced to now be low on health under the yeah, turret. Dyrus is dive again. Low. He's waiting for his spell cooldown to come back up. He could kill him with the spell. Oh, no! Oh, the outplay is it real, West Rice! Almost gets it, and Dyrus barely squeaks away. Big miscommunication there for T. Oh boy. Yeah. Double F though. <laughs> oh my lord. He didn't even need to hit the full equalizer.
to get them away for now. Dyrus is still at the back of this dragon pit. Who are they going to go for? <laughs> <laughs> that was smart get from Dyrus. Nice. Keeping Gia away from that one. Bjergsen will come in. The Zonias will be used for Gia. Seraph is trying to charge up his Fury Bar right now. They have a perfect way to tank this. If they can get in, Dexter takes it first, repels out, and then it's going to be... Oh, actually, Seraph's going to have to take this quite hard with the Dominus yeah. on. Gets shrunken out. Dyrus could have shield coming up soon. Gets the slow on. Dexter getting an auto attack. He's going to go down. And so oh, is Seraph. <laughs> the double kill for Dyrus. Going to the oh, we got oh, Reginald Reggie. gets pulled back. Is that what they wanted? That's the AoE damage. They're forced to flash away. Odd one bouncing right in. Here comes the wreck wheel down. It is going to do a good amount of damage, but is it enough? Danger so is still low. alive. Oh, Nintendo, you're so helping right now. Max me and Shift there may go down. Dyrus to come in and lay down the hammer. Unfortunately, on my side of the end, I wasn't able to perform when it most mattered. And. I'm, I'm really sorry to all my fans that I let you down. Every, everything that's there, it's, it's been done, and now it's time to open a new book. Right now my story ends here, but I still, even with me gone, I still want everyone to support TSM and all of all of my teammates and uh, I'm really I'm really really thankful for everything that fans have given us that we've brought in into esports so this far I mean back then we didn't even have a pause button so <laughs> like we're really getting we're really getting somewhere and I, I have nothing but gratitude for you guys and I Wish the best of luck to my teammates in the future. Thank you, Shox. You know, it's hard to imagine an LCS and League Esports without Dyrus, but I would contest his point about his story ending. I think our thanks goes out to him for the dedication, the years of dedication and inspiration that he's provided to millions of people around this world, and that his story will continue to live on through those people that he's inspired. You know, he's a legend in his own right, and his contributions to this community will not be forgotten. So thank you, Dyrus, once again. Uh, to what Dyrus said about his last kind of words to his fans, that he's sorry that he let them down. Dyrus, on behalf of your fans and somebody who was a fan of yours before and a fan of yours, you know, from until the end of time, you didn't let us down, man. You didn't let us down at all.